gonna change the way we farm completely or we were gonna change jobs. You have to decide if you wanna make money or make bushels. That's a leap. I'm suddenly seeing, I'll be darned. I made money. It's been a couple of years, you know? Uh, my name's Quinn Johnson. I live in Northwest Nebraska. Um, I've been involved in agriculture since about the year 2000. Um, I've been helping out my, my dad for a long time and I bought my own place in 2015. The problem that we needed to address was uh, soil conservation and keeping our topsoil in the fields. And we turned to no-till to do that. It's, it's really been the starting place and we've just built on it from there. We've added in cover crops. Um, we try to keep more residue on the fields now. And that gives us a good armor on the soil and allows us to, to go ahead and grow something and keep a live rut in the soil and still have a, ni a nice grain crop the next season. Um, the, the first year we, we tried no-till, we got some cost share money to purchase a no-till drill. And we weren't quite sure how it was gonna work. We'd never been around it. We'd never never used anything like that before. It was just completely new, new territory. The NRCS helped us out a lot as far as getting uh, the steps that we needed to do. Um, figuring out how much downforce we needed to have to get the seed in the ground at the proper proper depth. We started with some pretty chalky white soil and uh, it was less than 1% organic matter. On a lot of our fields we've, we've had some pretty degraded ground that we were working with here and we've got really good aggregation now. If, if we've got the moisture in the soil, our, our soil almost looks like crumbly chocolate cake now. You, you save quite a bit of diesel up front just not having to prepare the ground with with tillage and uh, or even multiple spray passes you save a little bit of money with chemical there having a cover crop out there to suppress the weeds rather than having to keep it keep it clean with chem fallow. One of the other big areas where we've seen a lot of cost savings and increase in profitability is we've been able to integrate the livestock on some of those cover crops. You walk out in a field that's that's got nothing but just fallow soil in there and it's completely bare. It's very hot when it's 100, 110 degrees out. You can you can feel the heat radiating off of that field. You walk out into a field full of cover crops and it's almost cool and, and has a little more humidity to the air. It's almost its own microclimate. A lot of it is just taking care of the land, making sure there's something here for the next generation and just improving upon what we've got because we've got really great resources in this country and we need to conserve them or improve them.